we often get questions about what the different knobs and buttons on the front panel of the Desktop Connect actually do. So let's just do a quick walkthrough of some of the basics. So first we have the gain knobs. They control the input gain for both the microphone and the guitar input, um, as well as the line inputs. Um, we have the option to select uh, three different scenes. The first one is mic and instrument, second one is for two guitars, and the third one is for stereo input. Now, the most important knob on the Desktop Connect is the Input DAW knob. That selects what you're actually monitoring. So if it's set to Input, you're only hearing the input. If it's set to DAW, you only hear the DAW. So let's set it to 12 o'clock so we can hear everything. The Reverb knob controls the amount of reverb, of course. Uh, we also have a Control Panel uh, button basically calls up the control panel. We have a mono switch for mono compatibility checking. We have a dim switch that basically dims the master output to a preset level. We have a meter selection that allows us to select the input, pre or post, just for monitoring. And of course, we also have a phone's volume. The important thing about the phone's volume is that you can also use the large volume knob to control the headphones volume. So make sure that's set correctly in the TCNear control panel. And last but not least, we have the large volume control knob that controls the main output of the desktop connect.